Hey there YouTubers! In this video I'll show you how I rigged up my Wilderness Systems Tarpon 120 kayak. I'll begin with the mill crate. I built in a compartment for tackle box storage. And behind that I keep the boga grip, a rod holder, a bag for plastic baits, and my anchor bag. At the back I added four PVC rod holders. I can also use one of these to hold onto my light. To make the light, I used an aluminum pipe, a mini mag light, and a mini mag traffic wand. I also replaced the stock bulb with LEDs for a longer run time. To make sure the crate stays in place, I cut some notches in the back for the tank well bungee to hold on to. I also added some bungee hooks to the front of the crate. On the left side of the crate, I keep my stakeout pole. I made my own slide tracks mounts with some half inch black plastic and some one inch pole clips. On the other side of the kayak I installed the anchor trolley. The back end attaches to a piece I made out of eighth inch aluminum and it's mounted in a spot that was made for the rudder system and came with a metal threaded insert already molded into the kayak. I have the trolley split into two sections at the handle. One thing I like about this is that I can flip up one of these pulleys and it'll hold my line in place. Up at the front end, I replace the paddle keeper bungee with a longer one and use that to attach the pulley. For fishing rod holders, I use the aluminum ram tubes. These are nice because with just a twist of the handle, you can move it any direction you want. When I got the tubes, they were a little bit longer than I wanted, so I ended up cutting off about two inches and then I added a piece of PVC on the inside to get a better hold on the rod handle. I used the 2 inch by 4 inch rectangular bases and I attached those directly to the slide tracks. These came with only the four corner holes so I ended up having to drill my own holes along the middle of the base. The track itself sits a little bit lower than the plastic on either side of it so I used a strip of 3 quarter inch by 1 16 inch aluminum to make some spacers to fill that gap. Moving on to the fish finder, you can see here I use a Humminbird 385 CI. It's a great little fish finder with built in GPS. Combine that with a good lake map chip and it'll put you right on top of that structure you're looking for. The transducer is glued down inside the hull, and the battery is kept in the front hatch in a waterproof box, which is also glued down to the hull. I also use that same battery to power my camera. To do this, I installed an M-size power connector into the base of my camera mount. From there, the wire brings the 12 volts to a power converter, which converts that 12 volts into 3.7. From there it's fed into the battery compartment to a fake battery I made which makes the final connection in the power supply. The camera itself is a Pentax WG2 with a Panasonic wide lens. It sits on a homemade swivel mount which when I pull one of these cords rotates 180 degrees. To get better audio to go along with the video, I made a shock mount for a Zoom H1 audio recorder. The Zoom records in stereo and does an all around better job of picking up audio than the camera does. 
The shock mount helps reduce any hall noise from being picked up by the microphone. The base I made out of plastic and I used mounting tape to attach it into the cup holder. I think that covers just about everything. So now it's time for me to go catch some fish. Thanks for watching.